Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 7 and 8 of Banner of the Stars BTW. Like, okay, I did something really stupid once again. I got mixed up between Banner of the Stars season 2 and Banner of the Stars season 1, and I was about to, several hours ago, um, watch it, and then I looked, and I, I, it, it happened so fucking quickly, and I was like, oh shit. I did not make, I made the wrong files to the wrong episodes, and so I had to hurry up and get that out. Thank God I got the other stuff out, but this is the only other thing, plus a couple, two other shows that I got to do after this, but yes, a little bit tedious mistake. But other than that, it's going to get started with episodes seven and three, two, one, go. Tonight. Something kind of tells me the brothers, they might die. Something could, could, just looking at them and their dynamic with each other and especially their body language, it's like, bruh, I feel like y'all are not going to survive by the end of this. Y'all are going to die. And then someone's going to come in taking their place for the final season of the show. I could be wrong, though. I think is how the fuck could you be asleep at the time like this? Like, see, I can't imagine. I'd be one of them girls like, hold up, wait, 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 wait. That's why I, I, mm, God, if, you know, mm, if space battles exist, I'd just be that person on the sideline be like, hey, DJ, you going? No. Mm-mm. I'll live in space, you know, in a nice space station ish like that, but whoo yeah. <laughs> no! I could not survive like shit unless it was something like what's that Disney movie that I used to watch as a kid? Um Xenon. If it was that ish, yeah I'd be fine. But if it was something like this, no. I know I could not survive, like mm mm. I'd be so fucking screwed. <laughs> I hate to say that about myself, but it's so true. I'd be that one bitch and be like, mm. Well, no. I I'd still, I, I would still be able to handle myself, but I, I would still need help. Like, of course, because we all need help with something. But, like, whoa, God. I wouldn't cry. I'd be that person to like, okay, hold up. If you don't want to die, like, come with me. Let's just figure out something to do. Because that's the smart thing. Don't be stupid and be like, oh, crap, who's going to save us? You have to sometimes take charge and save yourself. Mm -hmm.
because you could have died. Hmm. Okay, good. You can relax for now. Thank God. But isn't that a little too easy, though? You sure? I mean, but hold up. She was already resting before this. It's going to be a long journey home. The Aho just reminds me of Cody <laughs> when I don't pick him up and he starts barking at me. Well, no, first he starts crying. He'll whine and it's so freaking cute. Oh, and then eventually if that doesn't happen, um, he starts barking at me. <laughs> he does the same thing to my mom.
Nice. Uh. So then how are you supposed to get home? This is the one time that I wish those girls who used to work for the bottom was like, you know, with laughing and she told, but no. I swear to God, y'all better look. Please do not kill the cat. That's better than just separate. Why?
So, she, he, hold on, wait. He's basically giving her everything that he all has left for them to live. I, I, I understand that, but still, like, he, they could have both walked out alive on this. So sad. So fucked up. So you literally want to die out here and just float for the rest of your freaking life? Bruh, no. Can you go around them, possibly? I mean, no matter what, you're surrounded. How can you be so sure, though?
thank God. You would have possibly died! <laughs> Just a feeling. Right? I mean... Okay. Thank God they're okay, but still, for I was expecting both ships to come out of it, not one. Like, seriously, I understand out of the two, you know, La Fiu and everyone else has to automatically survive because they are important and such. And I'm like, okay, all right, you just need to come on. What's the problem? And then once they showed that there was stuff in their way and they couldn't make it out, I was like, God damn it, like, why are you doing this to me? Ugh. Rest in peace to them, like seriously. I was expecting both for to make out, but no. You literally had to say, fuck that, they're gonna die. Like, mm. But thank God, the cat's okay. That <laughs> okay. My kitty is okay. That's all I care about. And certain characters as well, but the cat. We protect the kitty in this show. Like, oh, but like I feel bad for Lafayette. Like, she, the one thing that I also love about her is she works so fucking hard on her ish, no matter what. But the fact that she was so drained and tired during this. And everybody's like, yeah, go take a nap, go lay down, we'll take charge. And the fact is that, you know, Jean told, was just gonna go lay down too. And he carried her to her bed. Oh my god, he's so fucking sweet. I can't stop it. The, like, once again, too many shippable moments with these two. Because, like, oh my god. Especially towards the end of the episode. Look at her ice cream. Oh my god. Stop it. It's too fucking much. God damn it. Of course we're talking about that yeah. I mean, you know, honestly, thinking about it, yeah, it, it's very much in a way how, like, you know, Lafayette feels like she is out of place because it, it's not only the princess thing. Um, if I can give another example of it, it's like, okay, when you're coming in and you're like, you're, okay, no, no, no. When you're playing a new game or something and you're very much a noob on it and mm, you meet someone who's really, really good, <laughs> really, really good at playing this said game and you're always like asking that person for help and it's just that there you feel like you cannot do it on your own with that person's help it's almost like how <laughs> when I was a kid and playing Kingdom Hearts 1 for the first time and getting into I remember the the few fights that and everybody was like this too who also played this damn game and also in Kingdom Hearts 2 as well so for Kingdom Hearts 1 the fights that got me the most difficult were the like the deep jungle final boss so that was Clayton and the heart uh, and the heartless and having to hear that god dang line so many times um the 
and some Riku, the first and some Riku fight with Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Then Dragon Maleficent, or just Maleficent's battles with in general. And then the one that made me, like, I, I could not continue on in the game. The second Riku fight, Riku Ansem fight, with it's just you and Riku and such. Fuck that fight. Like, oh my god. I hate, like, as a child, I hated that fight so damn much. And I remember, like, playing that over and over and over again. To the point where it's like, now I know that line, those that whole freaking cutscene leading up to the fucking battle, word for word to word and such. A lot of us know that ish. Then if we want to talk about Kingdom Hearts 2, it was fucking Demix, Demix Zaldin. Um, yeah, that's probably it. I think those were like the time. Yeah. Yeah. Just those two. I don't think there was really anything else that really like, you know, frustrated me as those fights. Kingdom Hearts 3. No, because I was just so fucking good at that game. <laughs> but, I mean, I, I feel for her. It's a lot of things handling of being a leader and such. And I feel like there's going to be times where Lafayette feels like she has that confident moment and that she can do it on her own and she doesn't need help. And then there are times where she feels very down. And in a way, she's like, she wants help, but she doesn't want to accept it. Because you know how some people say, oh, if I get help, it feels like I'm weak. Da, 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 da. This is that and the third. But, like, yeah. It, it just, it takes time. That's it. I, it. She's she's handling it for the freaking first seven episodes of the second season. She's really handling it on her own. But I feel like still, there's a little teeny tiny bit there. But who knows. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode seven. I'm not episode 7, episode 8. My bad. Okay, episode 8 and 3. Hold on. In 3, 2, 1, go. Because if she didn't do anything, all of you would have been dead. Unfortunately.
I mean, yeah, because no offense, it is none of your business, obviously. Once again, none of your business. None of your business. <laughs> Of course. Okay, so how can you get some so quickly? I mean, probably not, right? A year? Shit. Mm. So then we probably won't even get answers until that, until like the final few episodes of this season.
see, okay, they say this plan is excellent and then watch something's going to go bad to just go from excellent to worse. See? Seriously, being a sibling, I know you're gonna fucking argue, but god dang. Yeah, it could be. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think so, yeah, especially with his age. I mean, I don't think he would be very high. If it was a woman, okay, of course. Like, us women, we don't like it when someone asks our age and such. But we don't also like to tell people our age. Men, I think it's kind of different. They're fine with it. Excuse me. Mm.
I mean, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I think you probably be drinking so much. <laughs> what if Sam someone's like a <laughs> live surprise supply of his favorite booze? <laughs> Oh, of course. Come on now. <laughs> well, yes, in a way, she's still just a baby. <laughs> yeah, that she can be a little hard headed too, but you know, hey.
Let's hope nothing bad happens. It's almost in a way, like, with each person drinking, it just feels like this is the last time we're going to see them like this. And that after this, like, maybe, like, especially for, for this, like, the little freaking meeting that Lafayette was just that. We, there's five people. How many? <laughs> probably half will make it alive next week. So probably just three. Three. That's it. Who knows? I mean, God. People might die next week. Not even a mite. People will die next week. Mm hmm. Ugh. I don't even know what else to say about this. I mean, kind of with, like, especially the things that I said in the previous episode, still continuing on in this episode, yeah. But, I mean, this was a very nice slow-paced episode for what is about to come because shit is about to get real for them once again. And, of course, like, anything that can will happen, you know, mm, they might get stranded again. And you don't really want that for this group. I mean, once is enough. Two is, twice is way too damn much. So, let's just hope and pray it just happens one time. And one time only and never ever again throughout the, the next couple of weeks that we have with this show leading into the second and final season. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, here's crossing. And let's hope that everybody will be able to be okay in these next two episodes next week. That's all I want. I don't want to see anybody die next week. I mean, seriously, all of these characters are important, but sometimes when you show someone doing some ish, it's like, oh, they're going to die next week, aren't they? Okay, all right, so, oh, okay, that had to be the preview for, uh, no, uh, mm -mm. the following episode, aka episode nine. I don't really have anything else to say about this, but yeah, both episodes are really good. Like I said, this episode felt like a very calm, chill episode, literally calm before the storm episode and everything, and how next week, probably with both nine, ten, um, I'm guessing eleven, twelve, and thirteen, because I think there's thirteen episodes. Excuse me for this season as well. So it, it's just going to go from like zero to a thousand next week for the next few, few weeks of this show leading into the final season. But yeah, other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode seven and eight of Banner of the Stars. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchless Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes nine and ten. Bye, guys.